my name is Alex Harbour. I'm the retail manager at Ravine Vineyards and fifth generation on the property here. Uh, and now, my best wine story ever. Well, wine is an important part of it, but also has a funny food take. It all happens in New York City. Now, my older brother Paul was actually a chef down in New York City at a restaurant called Cafe Balud. Pretty ritzy place, owned by Daniel Balud, who also has Danielle. Um, so I was heading down for a trip, and my brother informed me that the sous chef at that Cafe Balud actually had a little bit of a craving that he was unable to fulfill for quite some time. The man used to quite often come up to Canada, and he fell in love with ketchup potato chips. Now, I was completely unaware that our southern brothers are unable to purchase ketchup potato chips. What a travesty. So, I obliged the man, and I picked up two jumbo bags of Lay's ketchup potato chips, uh, and boarded a plane with that as my only carry-on. It was a plastic bag with two jumbo bags of Lay's ketchup potato chips. Eventually we land in New York City. Uh, the second evening I'm there, we decided to go and eat at Cafe Balut. Now, my brother was actually not working that night, and I was there with a friend. So, we start to make our way over there. And before I left, my brother also informed me, uh, he's got a bit of a moxie in that everybody tips their server, but the chefs feel a little left out at times. And for the amount of work that they're doing in New York City, they should be rewarded. So, he urged me to stop in at a corner store before actually heading into the restaurant and pick up as many tall cans of Budweiser as I could carry. So, I obliged that as well. So, I'm walking into the restaurant. Um, now, to give you a little bit of a background on Cafe Balud, uh, it's August when this actually happens. And I should also put in the note that I'm 19 years old when this happened. Um, it's August and we're getting to the restaurant and the two people ahead of us, they're old money. Old in every sense of the word. Uh, it's August and the woman just so happens to be wearing a fur coat. So when we walk into Cafe Blue, it's got a very funny setup. We go, out, go, out, go into the front door and you walk right into the coat check where you put your coats away by yourself. There's nobody in that room. And then to your left there's a door that takes you right to the maitre d'. So we walk in at the same time as this older couple. I'm carrying a grocery bag with Budweiser in it and a plastic bag with ketchup potato chips. And so we get obviously some funny looks. Now, I take my friend's jacket, I'm hanging up our two jackets, and she takes the, uh, the potato chips and, and the beer and kind of explains and has a laugh with this other couple that, oh, we're friends of the kitchen and these are just gay gifts. And we have a good laugh about it. And my friend gets in front of these people and goes right to the maitre d' who is the stereotypical, stiff, proper French New York City maitre d'. And she goes right up to him and says, here, these are for the kitchen. The maitre d' just looks at her with a thought in his head that must have gone something like this. Oh my god, what the hell is this girl doing in my restaurant? Luckily, I'm just behind her and I, I come up and I say, actually, we're harbor reservation for two? And the mood completely changes. Ah, d'accord, Monsieur Harbert. Of course, and these are the gifts for the kitchen. Of course, they will love it. They have been expecting it. But yeah, please give, uh, give the gifts to me. I will take them back to the kitchen. And in the meantime, I have the table all set up for you right here. And so he leads us over to the table. And I notice one thing. There are no menus on this table. Don't think anything of it at the moment, but uh, I, I sit down. So, five minutes later, the maitre d' returns from the kitchen. And he comes up to the table and he says, Ah, oh, so Monsieur Harper, uh, here we, uh, we like to do gift for gift. Uh, and it was so generous of you to bring the, uh, the beer as well as the potato chips from Canada. And so uh, the kitchen wanted me to bring out this bottle for you. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but uh, the 1996 uh, Vivtico Grand Dame to start off the evening. So it was a lovely bottle of wine. And that's my wine story of how I traded ketchup potato chips for 1996 Grand Dame But there is a little side note to the story. I found out a few months later that the beer was very much so enjoyed by the kitchen that evening. Um, so much so that they decided that they should probably eat some potato chips with the beer that evening. The sous chef who I brought the chips for wasn't in the kitchen that night. So he never got to eat those ketchup potato chips. True story.